Global Wrestling Network is the premier destination for the best wrestling from around the world. Watch new episodes of Impact, Explosion, and exclusive digital content online or on your phone, all for free. Upgrade to the premium subscription and get ad-free access to the extensive library of current and past weekly Impact episodes, greatest matches, classic pay-per-views, and original series with more content added each month. Get Global Wrestling Network now on iOS, Android, or at globalwrestlingnetwork.com. This is TNA, the new face of professional wrestling. There are moments that enchant us, inspire us, define us. Nights that validate a lifetime of yearning and the relentless pursuit of a dream. For these men, this is one of those nights. They are dreamers, risk takers, adventurers, amazing athletes who have, until this night, toiled in fields of relative obscurity. Starting tonight, these emerging stars will toil in anonymity no more. The phenomenal AJ Styles is perhaps the greatest athlete ever to enter the ring. Tonight, the three-time X Division champion will show a whole new audience why he is in a world without gear. NWA Tag Team Champions, The Naturals, embody the very essence of TNA. Young, daring, and athletic, they continue to fuel the renaissance of tag team wrestling. And then there's Jeff Jarrett, the reigning NWA heavyweight champion. Arrogant and coy, this self-proclaimed king of the mountain has been a world champion everywhere he has been. This is a new age, and they are the new breed. These are their faces. This is their moment. Tonight, history is unfolding. A brave new world emerging. Welcome to the dawn of a new era in professional wrestling. Yeah! The 
reason they called him now. And I was talking with AJ about it. He can hit a backbreaker from more angles than anybody that you've ever seen. That is what? really indicative of the young up and coming talent that we get here in TNA. For those of you watching the TNA product for the first time, you obviously noticed the six sided ring. Hexagon, it's not only eye catching, it provides more options to use the high risk style that made the X Division famous. Shot to the back by Roderick Strong. AJ trying to fight him off. Strong trying to take him over in an attempt at a suplex, but a pair of elbows, oh, and a knife edge chop rocks him. I'll tell you what, for those of you that are just discovering what the X Division is all about, it's a division that's not about weight limits, it's about no limits. Nice drop kick right there by AJ Styles. Right on target, and you're looking at the only Triple Crown winner in TNA's three-year history, two-time NWA World Tag Champ. TV. Think about the journey that we've come through, Mike. I mean, going on four years, and this is a chance right now for America to see what everybody's been talking about, the phenomenal athletes in TNA wrestling. Yet to come tonight, the alpha male Monty Brown, more X Division action, plus Rhino versus Jeff Hardy. And ladies and gentlemen, it's coming up later on Impact. We'll offer the exclusive video footage, your first chance to see the controversy in Canada. Alpha male, Monty Brown. Monty Brown is one of those rare athletes that has everything. Powerful, ferocious, and maybe most importantly, legit. The alpha male is the most predatorial, territorial individual in the universe. Monty Brown was a force on the gridiron, playing in two Super Bowls for the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. Now he unleashes his raw fury in the ring. 
Talk about the energy this man can release in a small amount of space. Go! Knock his shoes off anybody. It's just a force, it's a presence that you just have to see to believe. He's got the physique, he's got the mental attitude, and he has the ability. And there's no stopping Monty Brown. Ooh, it's the franchise Shane Douglas right here on TNA's huge debut on Spike TV, standing by with the man that we will see in action next, none other than the alpha male, Monty Brown. Spike TV has just become Serengeti Television. Shane, welcome to the Serengeti. The alpha male will not be stopped. The alpha male will not be denied. And whoever that little antelope is sitting in the back feeling butterflies, you're about to feel something even worse than that. You are about to feel the power. Period. Let's go back down to the... Oh, hold on a second. We're getting word there's a commotion in back. Can we get a camera there? Get up! Get up! Ah! Ah! Get on! Come on! Stop Come on! Stop it! 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 backstage. He doesn't out. have to wait out, to see out, the video out, footage of the controversy in Canada. He out. lived it. Rage in professional wrestling. Did you see the gracefulness? Did you see the style? My God! Unbelievable action! Innovative, high flying, and at times brutal. Featuring a new breed of superstars the phenomenal AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, the Canadian destroyer Petey Williams. Chris Saban, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, the X Division, no fear, no restraints, no limits. The following contest is a three-way match of 
about to make his way to the ring, proudly representing his home country of Canada. This is Petey Williams. Quite simply, the X Division is the latest evolution of high-risk, high-offense wrestling. In the 90s, it was the cruiserweights, but it's 2005, and it's all about the X Division, where it's not about weight limits, it's about no limits. Introducing his opponent, this is Alex Shelley. What I love about this division, Mike, is the X in my mind stands for extreme. You don't have to be somebody that does triple somersaults off the top rope. You can be like this man here, Alex Shelley, a man who knows how to ground your opponent in ways that you've never seen before. And introducing competitor number three from Detroit, Michigan, Chris Saban. The introduction of Chris Saban, as well as the Team Canada captain Petey Williams, reminds us about the biggest pay-per-view event in TNA's history. Sunday, October the 23rd, it's bound for glory. Yes, Chris Saban, Petey Williams, two of the three men to be involved in Ultimate action. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. If I could try to describe this in a short time here because the action is going to take off any second, it is the most creative and innovative match that TNA has put together. There will be a set of high wires about 15 feet above the mat that will form an X above it. These members will have to somehow find a way to shimmy up the poles, go across the wires, and pull down the prize. Whoever wins that match and bound for glory becomes the number one contender for the X Division title. You talked about Alex Shelley. We just saw that very accomplished amateur wrestler, a real student of the game, going to a submission move on Saban, but then the Team Canada captain, Petey Williams, turns the matchup in his favor. I'll tell you what, Petey Williams has probably the most devastating finishing move I've ever seen in the history of TNA. It's called the Canadian Destroyer. I wish I could describe it, but I still haven't figured it out. But Chris Saban right there, you can see these guys just going at it. The action's just so fast. Yeah, because it's first pin or first submission to win this three-way X Division matchup. Saban, another former X Division champion, somebody who's no stranger to Ultimate X, as is Petey Williams, another former X Division champion. These two guys very familiar with each other, trained by the same people. And, oh, what a shot right there in the head by Saban. Oh, Saban springs oh, off the oh. top rope, crashes down across the back of the team, Canada captain Petey Williams. That leads the action in the ring with Alex Shelley and Saban. Saban out to the floor, watch Shelley. Oh, he goes over, but Saban back in the ring to foil the attempt at all. Oh, what a move, and Saban comes through and catches Williams trying to get back in. Now Saban springs up to the middle rope, cut by the Shelley knife edge chop. Shelley springs off the rope, chops a suicide dive. He went right through the legs of Saban and crashed into Petey Williams, who went back first into the guardrail. I'll tell you, you gotta take the opportunities, and there goes Saban in a perfect move zone. He just nailed it perfectly. Hold on, Don. We need to take a commercial break. When we return, more incredible X Division action. You're watching him now. Check this. 
this out. Shelly and Williams, they can work together only so long because it's first pin or submission that wins. And their teamwork, it was short-lived. You know, you could see that was how it was gonna happen. I mean, nobody, oh! Here. It's a big surprise, but in a second, you'll know it. Tito Ortiz, my man. You're here not to talk about no punishment athletic business, but you're here to talk about some physical business. Well, you came to the right place. Step into my office here, and we'll take care of all this business. Surprise. Tito Ortiz. The Huntington Beach Bad Boy is an impact. Still to come exclusive footage of the controversy in Canada. Jeff Jarrett gets the title, but up next, Rhino one on one against Jeff Hardy. Three Live Crew. Three Live Crew provides that perfect mix of sports and entertainment. Fun. Absolutely pure entertainment. BG James, Conan, and Ron the Truth Killing form one of the most entertaining and dominant forces in tag team history. Three Live Crew could easily be named Larry, Moe, and Curly. Absolutely off the wall individuals, only complemented by their toughness in the ring. An incredibly hard trio to beat. I am the Sundance the always entertaining three live crew make their Spike TV debut next week on Impact. They will face the squad from north of the border, Team Canada. And there he is, the man beast. Jeff Jarrett. About to make his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. He is the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Charismatic? That's one word you could use to describe Jeff Hardy. Electrifying is another. 
Rockstar, another this guy. Has charisma oozing out of his body. He's somebody that has a fair base, unlike any you've ever seen. He's also one of those ex-division style wrestlers that can also, and has, gone after the heavyweight championship. And that's somewhere his focus is pointed towards right now. When I see Jeff Hardy and I see him square off with Rhino, I think about Bound for Glory. Sunday, October the 23rd on pay-per-view. Get ready for a matchup like you've never seen before. It's the most physical, most barbaric, most brutal, most violent thing ever. It's Monsters Ball 2. These are two of the four men who will be involved. Rhino, Hardy, plus Abyss and Sabu, all a part of Monsters Describe it. Weapons are not only allowed, they're encouraged. These guys, when you see the two here, plus Abyss, the Monster Abyss, and of course, Sabu will be kept in a room for 24 hours without food, water, or light. And then they'll be let loose to face each other in the ring and bow. Can you imagine the mindset of those four after being under lock and key, locked in a room? You're right, no food, no water, they can't even see the light of day. Six foot two, 270 pounds. I mean, this guy is just solid. That's the only way you can describe him. But Jeff Hardy, no stranger to Rhino in the ring, as you saw him right there. Twist back and kick him, and oh! Gets his momentum off the top rope and sends his feet right into the chest of Rhino. Quick pin attempt. Here's the lateral cover and two count by Jeff Hardy. Smart move there, setting up Rhino in the corner and then using as much of the power as he can and all of the weight behind it. Oh, look how quickly Rhino turns it in his favor. He snaps off the spine buster. What a wicked spine buster it was. And I was asking Hardy, how do you beat Rhino? And he says, well, you've got to avoid the gore. I'll tell you what, he almost got pinned right there with that wicked spine buster. But Rhino is just so compact when he does hit you with that gore, when he just nails it. It takes the air right out of you, and you don't even have a chance to get up. You're counted out. And if you're Rhino, you have to avoid the twist of fate. You have to avoid that top rope swanton yes. from Jeff Hardy as well. Jeff Hardy can beat you from so many angles. He can beat you from so many directions. That's why he's going to be an interesting figure to see in that monster's ball. Because Jeff Hardy is just a little bit different enough to where he might be able to handle the solitude of 24 hours and use it to focus on the task at hand and bound for glory. You talked about those different directions and angles. Then you factor in the six side of the ring. You also have that shorter span that allows for more spring off the ropes as well as we see the power there of Rhino with the scoop and a slam. I'll tell you what, Rhino right now going to the second row. Somebody that when he gets momentum right like, oh, but he just misses us. Took too much time, hesitated too long. Hardy knew he had to get out of the way. We talked about that quickness and timing of Jeff Hardy, but really came to light there. He was able to move out of the way and avoid that high impact move. Oh, he just gets up and now they're just trading balls one after another. And you can see Hardy right there trying to fire himself up, but Rhino sends him back in. Looks like Hardy is gonna try and beat Rhino in his own power game. Flying forearm, series of shots in the corner. Oh man, Rhino sent back first into the turnbuckles. flying over the top right there, but Jeff Hardy's showing everybody he's a lot stronger than you think. When you think of Jeff Hardy, you think of uh, the acrobatics that he can do. But believe it or not, this is a big guy. Look at the belly to belly. Power move by Rhino. Plants Jeff Hardy. Rhino heads to the corner. Drops down. Looks like he's positioning for the goal. He's setting it up right here, and he wants Hardy to get up. Here he comes.
in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. The King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, challenged Raven for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Just when it looked like Raven would retain the title. America's Most Wanted hit the ring, and after a super kick and a death sentence, Jeff Jarrett's master plan came to fruition, but there was more to the story. All right, guys, exactly what we want. Yes, 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 that's the first step that, to the plan of us taking over TNA. TNA's magic can shove it up their ass. The cornerstone's right here. You know what the next step is? You know what the next step is? Right here. Just wait till we get the spike. We're taking over. Brilliant. Brilliantly done. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome America's Most Wanted and the NWA Heavyweight Champion of the World, Jeff Sharon. Four months ago, Jeff Jarrett was NWA World Heavyweight Champion. with the NWA World Heavyweight title. And right now, I want to publicly thank two guys that are also the cornerstone of TNA. Two guys that have revolutionized tag team wrestling. I'm talking about Wildcat Chris Harris, the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm, collectively known as America's Most Wanted. Why would they do that? Why would they turn their backs on their fans? And the puzzle I want to bring out right now. The smartest Canadian walking God's green earth. I want everybody to stand up and give a round of applause to Coach Scott Damore. Mike, I gotta tell you, this guy right there, Coach Damore, is hard enough to stomach by himself. Put him and Jared together, and there's no way we're gonna be able to stand the bull that these guys took. Yeah, but listen to this, he's not only the coach of Team Canada, but he and his family own the promotion where the title change occurred on September 15th. Jared talked about putting the pieces of the puzzle together. I think most of us now are figuring out exactly it's how this so went down. It's so good to be back. And Jeff, we made a deal, and I upheld my end of the bargain. <laughs> Makes me sick. But remember, Jeff, your end of the bargain. We'll rule this place together, but anytime, anywhere, anything, when I need you, you owe the coach one. <laughs> oh my God. So I want everybody to take a good look. For the last four months, I've been told what to do. Well, now the shoe is on the other foot. Everybody in the back, TNA management. This is a bad jam. Beware, coming for you. It's the remix. We have to be Two 
killings on the uh, left. Yeah, yeah. Where are dogs at? Where they at? Yo, Jeff, this is our first show on Spike TV, and you're already boring the people half to death. You did not build TNA. TNA was built by the fans in the Impact Zone. You're damn right and it was. wrestlers like the 3 LK. So why don't you shut up, you little Bia Bia? Hey, big boys, why don't you make me shut up? Wow, that's calling it out. Let's hear from 